I think these are two teams that are pretty evenly matched. Chinese Taipei, 14 seed. Philippines come in as a 10 seed. Chinese Taipei have won 59% of their games in national competitions. They won the fourth edition of the Asian Beach Games. Finished third at the fifth edition of the Asian Beach Games. There's Xu Jin Bang. Looking like she's ready, ready to go. 27 year old. Making her 3x3 debut is Payne. Pantanel, she's no newbie. She can shoot it too. Didn't shoot it great in, in their first game. But she is the reigning two point shootout winner at the World Cup from uh, last year. Took gold. So she got some neck wear. They got the dominant post player and Claire Castro. She was key in that effort in that 21 1 win over Samoa. Time is Xing Ting Wang, 26 year old. She uh, looks pretty good in her 3x3 debut here at the Asian Cup. You can tell they've been getting, getting some practice in, getting acclimated to this game, getting acclimated to the speed, the difference in full court and 3x3. I think they got it now, don't they? Well, they better. Our official timekeeper, T. So. Our global sponsor, Wilson. Our supplier, Shell Day Sports, Peak Apparel, and Sport Court. We appreciate you and your efforts to uh, help 3x3 continue to grow. Nice move, Bernardino. Ain't going nowhere though. Great contest. Long ball. Uh. FaceTime. Anima. See if Anima can get some get back. Oh, Bernardino. Left her. Bye bye. To the crib she goes. Two one. The Filipinas. Ladies, holding up the hopes of the Filipinas watching at home because uh, the men's team 0-2 and, and without Richie Rivetto, who went down with an ankle injury. So the women carrying the torch right now for the Philippines. And I don't think that's a bad idea. They got a squad full of ballers. Oh, Bernardino. Hit her on the back door. Nice cut, good pass. Anima put it on the money to a piece. Pantejos with a D on Payne. Payne follows the miss, kicks it. Nobody home. So just over a minute into this one, 2 2 game. Anima going left, lost her footy. Bernardino behind the back, setting up. One leg fade away. Oh, way to keep it alive. Pantejos, scoop misses. Animam staying with it. And she gets the bucket underneath. Quick clear to the corner. Just off target. Pantejos, oh, step back. Step through. Got a rock took, though. Shot is missed. Dodged the bullet there. Bernardino clears it. One on one. Oh, that was a that was a hell of a screen there. Anima, like my bad. I didn't mean <laughs> I didn't mean to do it like that. I didn't know my own strength. Still a one point game. Philippines with only one foul after the hard screen. Wang spinning free left, tried to scoop. Animam caught swiping down, foul in the process of the shot. So 
That will put Xiang Ding Wang on the strike. A little bit too much on it. Followed her own miss, Pang. In and out, drive, good D there. Castro using those long arms to disrupt the passing lane. She misses point blank though, couldn't get the bucket. So Chinese Taipei on the attack. Playing in their homeland. Nice ball movement, good sh look at the shot, missed it. But Pang there to clean things up. Little four footer. Three apiece. Final game in qualifying draw A for the women. It'll be all group B the rest of the way. Great time. Look, wide open. Look, Bernardino. Couldn't do it. So not at three apiece. Two and a half minutes in to this game. Pantejos, she's dangerous. She gets one on one. Nice, oh, oh. Bernardino went down, she got undercut. But uh, she jumps right back up, shakes it off. Oh yeah, oh. Wow, some hard foul, hard foul and fall. But Bernardino again, don't shake it off. Step up to the stripe, shoot one calmly and coolly, but misses, tracked it down, still out of bounds. So possession will go to Chinese Taipei. Chance to take the lead here. Break this 3-3 tie. Oh, nice move. So eight, eight ticks left on the shot clock. For Chinese Taipei to work with. See what they draw up here. Spang will start with it at the top. Checked up. Over to the wing, launched, missed. Animam working in the post. Got a big advantage there. And she uses it. Wide open, bang. Uh, bang, bang. Chinese Taipei back in front, 5 foot. Animam, ooh. Mishandled the pass. It's actually behind her. Out of bounds over to Chinese Taipei. They want a timeout. They're gonna get a breather. Kind of recollect themselves. Get back to the strategy. See both of the team captains taking over the huddles right now. Pang and Pantejos. Trying to make the right adjustments here. Solid, some solid basketball being played thus far between these two teams. One and one. Hoping to head back to the hotel with an unbeaten record. Extracurricular activities there. Look like, uh, I don't know, Pantejos wasn't happy. Yushan Wei kind of kicked her foot after that play was over with. Good D. Bernardino came down for the help. Now, Anima trying to set up. Bernardino, Anima with two, with one. Tracks it down. Oh, telegraphed the pass. Lucky to still have that rock. Bernardino, Pantejos, catch, shoot. Too strong. Oh, nice bucket. Do 
through the contact. Oh, Bantejos. Oh, look, nice fake, but couldn't convert. Under six minutes to play, Chinese Taipei, two-point advantage, Bernardino. Bantejos. Oh, bunch of fakes. Step through. How did she make that? Crazy. 6-5. Lost her footing on the step through, was falling to the ground, and still managed to get the shot to go down. That's skills. Hey, hey. Oh, Bernardino. Oh, she's in her bag. She was in her bag. Oh, good look, Payne. Couldn't find the target. Pantejos, scoop, back rimmed it. Bernardino, too strong as well. But still comes up with it. Almost a pass stolen, but Pantejos, instead of going to the cup, shot the two and missed it. Probably should have kept going to the rim. Her shot has not been falling so far today. Look at Animan with the D. Forced it up. Looks like she forced a step on the out of bounds line. Yu Chun Wei. Past the five minute mark, six apiece. Here's Bernardino. Step through, scoop, deep, doop. That was sweeter than vanilla. Seven, six. Oh, going for the steal. Bernardino whistled for the reach in. Fifth foul on the Philippines. Chinese Taipei with three fouls. And a one point advantage for the Philippines as they've gotten back in front. Pull up. Oh, a little too much on it. Missed it long. Anima back in control. Dime. It's only a dime if it's capped off. And Castro does that, showing that soft touch. What is that, Belvin? 8-6. Ani Mom setting up, trying to let Play develop, then says, uh, we well, we out of time, we gotta go to work. Smart decision. Got to the rim, drew the foul. Five now on Chinese Taipei. And most importantly, a trip to the free throw line for Anima. I was mentioning earlier how I talked to her at the hotel last night when I first got in. I said, how's, uh, how's the training been going? How much more comfortable do you feel? You know, playing 3x3 after making your debut at the World Cup last year. The game was still brand spanking new to you then. And she says that uh, they've done a, a lot of work. You know, even though they didn't finish the way they wanted to at the World Cup 2018-17th place, just getting a, a taste of the game from then. And then practicing ever since then. They feel a lot more confident. And, and their ability to play the game this time around. Got a chance to go 2-0. If they can hold off Chinese Taipei with four minutes to go in a two-point game, Anima, that's not going to help their effort. She missed the free throw. Strong rebound, Bernardino. Foul call, good seal from Anima. Bernardino 
Hawks trying to split the D. Chinese Taipei staying strong, though. Here's Wang. Oh, Annie Mom. Great recovery at the rim to save that possession. Otherwise, that's an easy layup. So Annie Mom getting it done on both sides. Offense and defense. Still a two-point lead for the Philippines. Pantejos. Floater. Miss, but Castro able to recover. Castro getting the hand up. And Imam tracks it down. Pantejos clearing things out. Castro. Oh, good, good D, though. Mishandled initially. And Imam tracks it down. Castro high arcing just inside the two-point line. So one-point score. Philippines leading 10-6. Look at the D. And Imam. Sticking to her like a spray tan. And a shot clock violation. Under three minutes to play, and Philippines got a little bit of cushion here. Four point game. Montejos draws a foul using that speed. She got, like a, she got an extra gear. First throw, two seven. And oh, Pantejos. This is the free throw. Second one's good to go. Chinese Taipei in the penalty. Oh, they take the two. Right back from the counter pocket. Makes it 11 to 8. Pontejos! Scoop the doop. So she answers once. Two piece with the score on the inside. 12 8. Anima. Pontejos. Good pass. Great hands. Anima. Two woman game, work to perfection. And Payne claims that one off the rim. Pantejos pulls up mid range. Still struggling to get that jumper to go down. Slow on the closeout. Payne couldn't make him pay for it. And a foul call on Chinese Taipei. Foul number eight. Got to put the Philippines on the line. Yeah, it's all the half tackle. Going for the rebound, Pantejos. Get another chance to make good at the free throw strike. And Pantejos continuing to struggle at the strike, struggle with her shot in general. Second one is good, though. So she gets the Philippines out by six. Oh, yeah. The Chinese Taipei. That's what they can make up the difference. They can shoot that two ball. Oh, Annie Mom missed it point blank. She's been dominant thus far. That's one that she normally wouldn't miss. But she did it. 14 to 10 is where it stands. Buck 39 officially left. Chinese Taipei in trouble. Foul situation. Philippines, though, they still got one more to get before they're in the penalty. It would not be a bad, bad decision to, uh, to get to the rim as much as possible. Bernardino working, driving, kicking. Any mom. Whoa. Smart foul. Pantels didn't want to give her give up a, a gimme bucket. So with a four-point advantage, Philippines try to hold off Chinese Taipei. Again with a minute 20 to go. Bernardino all over Payne. Oh, get up out of here with that. 
Great D. Tiny Mom setting up shop. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Ooh, risky pass. Three, two, got to put it up. One. Oh, she got it up just in time. Two from the corner. Good contest there. Oh, there's a foul. But did you know? Definitely contact on the shot. Foul number seven on the Philippines, so that, that stops the clock. And it's going to put Chinese Taipei on the stripe shooting two by way of Yu Chun Wei. And Yu Chun Wei is good on the first of two. She can make it a three point game if she makes the second. As she does, both teams in the penalty. Philippines with a three-point advantage. Bernardino, one-on-one, -on -one, going right, turns left. Oh, missed it. Look at Animam, though. She's stronger than no deodorant down there. I'm sure she smells fine, but you get the point. Big board, big score, 16-12. 15 ticks to go, and a four-point lead for the Philippines. And despite the fellas going 0-2, it looks like the ladies are going to go 2-0. So the Puso still beating very strong. So six seconds left. Like Bernardino holding her uh, right hand. Pantejos. I'm sure telling, telling the rest of the ladies. No need to foul. Just play solid D. The last thing you want to do is foul on a two-point shot. Solid D. Animam does foul on a two-point shot. First the two is good. Second is missed, and that is it. 16 to 13, as the Philippines stay unbeat to start day one qualification. That was one they definitely earned. Again, I said coming into it, two evenly matched teams, this was gonna be Whoever could exit.